Hi, this is Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. We're still in the energy of that uh, Aries uh, full moon that we talked about in the uh, Uranus-Pluto square <laughs> is underway and will be affecting us till to 2015, I believe so. Uh, things are amped up. And speaking of things being amped up, uh, I've heard from a lot of people that you know, the world is, is seeming to amp up in their own personal um, venue right now. And I'm, I'm not a bit surprised. For everybody, it's different and everything has its timing. But I do fully believe that um, we're all going to, to have to move into and step into and face into and look into ourselves more deeply than ever before, discovering what's in there. And uh, so I got a, a really profound kind of message from Ezekiel that... Um, uh, he wanted me, it's not a he, the energy of your emotional field wanted me to pass on to you today. So I'm going to do that. And uh, it, it was actually brought about, I was thinking about someone I was helping the other day. And uh, this person, you know, gets so far in their consciousness and they, they really work. Um, but they have very, very specific dreams. And when they don't happen, uh they lose all faith, they lose all hope, uh, mad at their soul, mad at the universe, what's God about, this isn't working, Whoosh, right back, they are right back into that funk, um, losing their very all-important faith and belief. And uh, so this was, this was the example that was given, and uh, I, I want to share it with all of us. I call this email, uh, this reflections today, Go the Distance. Um, all of us at times don't go the distance. Some people really don't go the distance and they get stuck in a loop. They get partway there, they get discouraged and they fall back partway there, discouraged, fall back. For some, the rhythm is fall back a little bit, you know, one step forward, two steps back or two steps forward, one step back, even better. And yet, if you can just have this awareness and in your consciousness and work on this a little, I think you'll find it helpful. This is an example. When you drive your vehicle, um, from place to place, you have an awareness of your starting point as well as your destination, where you're going. And you accept that you cannot get from where you are to where you're going um, the distance and the time without driving the journey, without taking the journey. And, you know, while you may feel anxious at times, you may be waylaid, there may be an accident, you may have a flat tire, uh, you persevere and you get to your destination you go the distance. Uh, however, it, if you think about it, if you were taking this journey and you started out, you got a flat tire, you got your flat tire fixed, and you went a little further and you ran into a big traffic jam and suddenly you got discouraged and say, oh, heck, I'm just not going to go there, say a doctor's appointment. So you turn around and you go back and you're frustrated and you're angry. Uh, eventually, you're going to go to that appointment. Eventually, you're going to go to that destination, right? And so it's about going the distance. Um, you, do, you don't need to um, announce your inability to accomplish your journey. You have the ability to accomplish your journey. You've accepted the distance and the starting point. And you continue to move in that direction, in that destination, no matter what you may experience along the way. And, and, then he, and then it was this that came to me. Think about it. You chose to come into this life at this time, into this human body. It was your destination, and you, and you arrived. And then you set a goal for yourself. Whatever your soul plan is, these goals for yourself, what you're going to learn, what you're going to, how you're going to grow, what you're going to experience. And the end of your journey would be a transition out of this body. Your, your death, so to speak, you're passing on. And no matter what happens between the time you're born and the time you leave, you go the distance, you do your journey. And so this is to be aware of in anything in life. Um, it can be difficult. Don't give up. Go the distance. Find that God self inside of, your play, inside of you. It exists. It's always there. If you have to turn back and go back to this poor me victimhood place because you didn't reach your destination, you didn't manifest your dream, then it's, it's all the more reason to find that place inside of you because there was something 
you needed to learn, you needed to experience, you needed to understand. It's kind of like uh, in the in the global information network, uh, your wishes, your command work of, that Kevin Trudeau does. Um, it, if you haven't arrived at your destination, it's not over. It's not over till it's over. And whatever you have to experience along the way is all part of the journey. And at this time, I think what Ezekiel wanted you to understand, it is so crucial at this time to go the distance, to return to that center, to find out about yourself, what's inside of you. You create it. First thing, take responsibility for everything, for all the flat tires, all the traffic jams, all the illnesses, all the rejections and betrayals, all of it. Take responsibility for it. It's part of the play you wrote. It's part of what you're experiencing. It's part of what you chose. We say this over and over. But the important thing with today's message is really about moving forward, going the distance, taking that step into yourself to discover, you know, what, what caused the block? What, what, what's happening here? What do, you, what do you want to understand? What do you need to know? Need to know. And in that way, um, you're, you're going to find that you do arrive at your destination. It may not be what you thought. You may get there and, and think, this is what I thought. It wasn't what I expected. Um, but it is what you created deep inside yourself. So I wanted to pass this on short and sweet, this uh, reflections. Uh, I hope you all have a great week. Uh, it's October 1st. Yippee. I love October. It's my favorite month of the year. It's, uh, of course, my birthday month, which is always fun. Um, but even beyond that, uh, in here in Iowa anyway, it's just the most spectacular, colorful, beautiful uh, month that I can imagine. So enjoy it wherever you are, and we'll see you again next week. Bye.